How to install Windows Subsystem for Android on Windows 11 Ghost Spectre Hi guys! This tutorial will be short, because there is not much to explain. And this thanks to the best feature in Windows 11 Ghost Spectre Superlight. The Ghost Toolbox. And if you don't know what Windows 11 Ghost Spectre Superlight is, then please check out my previous video. Link in the description. And also, many people want Windows Subsystem for Android on a 4 gigs of RAM memory device. If you want to see why I think this is a bad idea, please watch the video until the end. But first, please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel, and click the bell icon, so you won't miss any of my future videos. To install Windows Subsystem for Android, open Ghost Toolbox, and select number 42. Options for Windows 11. Here, type in number 9 for Windows Subsystem for Android. Here you have the option to enable or disable the virtual machine platform. If you don't know what that is, or if it's enabled or not, you can check that out in Windows Features. To go on with the installation, type in 2, and then 1, for downloading and installing Windows Subsystem for Android. Now you can open Windows Subsystem for Android from Start Menu, and enable Developer Mode. As you can see, Windows Subsystem for Android, comes already equipped with Play Store, Amazon App Store, YouTube Music, Photos, Camera and so on. While WSA is more than enough for some regular apps, when it comes to gaming, the result is the same as on the official Windows 11. And that is not great. If small games, with small requirements work well in WSA, when it comes to larger, heavier games, things get a little complicated. The gameplay is not smooth, the key mapping doesn't work as it should, and the system slows down. But this is more a general problem, because like I said in previous videos about WSA, this is just the beginning, and there is still a lot of work to be done until we can have a smooth experience with apps on Windows 11. Until then, I recommend switching to an Android OS, or Chrome OS if you want to enjoy Android games on your laptop or PC. And before I end this video, I want to settle a question that is often asked in the comments. Will WSA work on 4 gigs of RAM? My answer to this is, I don't think you'd want to have WSA on a 4 gigs device. The result will be frustrating. You'll not have a smooth experience, and here's why. I have 16 gigs of RAM memory, and besides OBS screen recorder and a browser, I do not have much going on. And keep in mind that this is Windows 11 Superlight. That means it uses minimum resources. I'm trying to open Asphalt 9, and as you can see, WSA takes over 4.5 gigs of memory alone. And with all together, Windows, WSA, Browser, etc. The RAM memory consumption is at 75%. So the bottom line, in my opinion, is no. You'd not want to have WSA on a 4 gigs of RAM memory device. 